Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, in, the, in the last video, you saw that I reached the bottom of the bin. I refilled it. I went back into that um, armor where I have all the jewelry and I filled it to the brim. And this is not even half of one shelf. And I'll show you. And I already pulled some items out. Okay. Um, part five. Here we go. There's a an Avon box that says amethyst color here, but it's labeled turquoise set, and it is a turquoise set. Um, I don't think this is disturbing. An R. This is the back of the Y necklace, an R. Like this. Okay. Let me check if it's magnetic. It's not magnetic. This might be silver. Testing. And if it is silver, it probably is turquoise. It wouldn't surprise me. There's tons of turquoise. Um, this one says pink ice necklace, but up here it says peace sign necklace. So I'm just going to go by these labels on top. They seem to be correct. So it says peace sign, and it is a peace sign. Pendant with a um, suede um, cord and an extender. I also found in here these um, press-on nails and I just threw them on. I cannot really do acrylic. You can see the number. I can't really do acrylic because I have a baby and I struggle with the with the car seat, the seat belts and all that. This one is not labeled, but it is a very lightweight um, acrylic bracelet with the matching um, earrings and like a silver and gold tone this one says burgundy and burgundy lavender I see one earring here. I don't see the other one. This is what it looks like. Oh, still in the box. So this is um, some plastic. Actually, it might be glass and I think these are freshwater pearls they look real to me I don't think this is a name one I don't see a little tag sometimes the tags will fall off it doesn't mean that it's not a name one it's just maybe the earrings let me check the earrings just like searching for clues yep it does say Avon Come on, focus. Okay, I made that worse. Take my word for it. It says Avon. Oh wait, there we go. Avon on the butterfly. I was thinking of removing all of the boxes ahead of time, but that's just going to make my life more difficult. Trying to figure out which box belongs to which piece. These are some enamel and metal. Of 
cool tone. Bella Jack. Black and white. This looks like silver to me. It's a pair of um, shoes. These are beautiful little charms. And a purse. These are kind of like mismatched. Shabby chic. They kind of look like a French to me. This one's the JC Penny pink and burgundy, and it's not pink and burgundy. Okay. We have some, um, these are also Avon. Um, very lightweight. Um, this one might be, yeah, I think it's glass. One second, guys. There is some hair here. It doesn't surprise me anymore. Beautiful. Just, um, I've been messing with this camera stand and now it's like all bent of, bent, um, out of sorts and it moves on me. I need to retighten it. These are just some fashion earrings. I thought I saw something there, but no. Um, and they're in this um, Kate Spade little bag. There's a lot of these. This is what I was talking about in the other um, video. Kate Spade makes these um, bracelets that are enamel. I'm pretty sure it came separate, so one in one. Maybe that's what extra bags. But these are in really good condition and they have a little push button here and you can open them. So we'll put these back. And I know they go for a good amount of money. I'm thinking maybe like 20 to 40 dollars, depending on the style. I know there's some that have like um exotic animals on them, like a toucan or a bird of paradise or like a macaw these are also they have the spade the tiny little spade in the back and these are post earrings and um they come with the card cubic zirconia these retailed for 39 dollars and also in the back I don't know if you can hear, that's my uh, mom's dog. Again, we're hanging out. She's at work. Another baggie, and this is a set. Let's see if I can get it. They're the same. So, there are the spades, enamel, and these, um, 
This is like Tiffany and Company kind of. That's what it looks to, like to me. Beautiful and good condition. And they're labeled there. Another one. Nothing inside, only the card. Something's missing there. I'll put this aside. Here, uh, it'll turn up here in another bag. Another Kate Spade. I am not sponsored by Kate Spade. It's just my collection. This one retail for $39. And I like purple, as you can tell. Lilac purple. With the lilac purple bangle. Beautiful. Shell white and silver. broken it does have it's a set so there are the earrings let's see if I can untangle it okay so is this a bracelet nope that's just the way that it is so it's a Y necklace I was thinking maybe that was a bracelet attached because it's very long and I see like uh, a ring. Some empty bags here. This is a Roman pin. Nothing is missing. Uh, this was Avon, I think. Said. I've been a little too rough with this stand and now it's ruined. What is that? I'm sorry. I'm using the camera because I cannot read it on my own. I see whiting. I don't know if this is whiting and Davis. Give me one second. Do they even make jewelry? I know that they make purses. I don't have my magnifying glass, but it is a cameo. I don't know you guys, it's open. Hmm. And I think this is, I don't know, this is, it has to be at least glass. Yeah, Whiting and Davis Company, 925. I always thought this was an Avon piece because I couldn't see. 
Oh my god. All this time. It feels like Christmas. I'm not even paying attention to these other things. Some fashion B um, they look like the JB Napoleon um, the 22 karat gold plated um, B that's a, a pendant and a and a pin also in my other video it's not though I think these will good would look very good with that um I'm gonna put them aside. Start making sets. They don't go together, but we're going to pair them together. This is crystal. If you really want this to shine, you can put it in a Tupperware with some warm water and um, one of those cascade pots and put like, not just one, you know, put a lot of your crystal and it'll come out beautiful, shining. And this one's labeled stone, silver, shiny, and it's not, it's crystal. We need a new label for that. Turquoise said with silver. Nope. It's not turquoise, it's green. And it's a wine necklace, and this looks like a very old piece. And there is some matching earrings and they're not marked. They're very small. Beautiful. That kind of goes with a bracelet that I have. I'm gonna put this aside. And then uh, just a plain necklace, a fashion necklace and it's tangled. So I'm just going to throw this back in the box. Since it was mislabeled anyway, I'm just going to put these in here. And put this aside. Okay. This one says CNC California. Oh, these are beautiful. I'm not going to take them out. These are enamel earrings. These are beautiful. Gold tone. And in very good condition in the back. Probably only the white ones were worn. I remember buying this from an online auction. It's um, a blue crystal in there. I think I got this from Lucia Le. She also does jewelry um, jars from Goodwill. You guys should check out her channel. And she also does um, live auctions. And these are very long in two panels. See how they... And these are earrings. Um, they have this kind of a butterfly. These are beautiful. I want to say they're about 
maybe six inches long. Gorgeous. Lola Mark Jacobs. On a leather little satchel. Little. And they have these, um, the things that you pull to close. They're like flowers. And I see a ring. Oh, wow. It is a little worn there and there. This is a huge, not in size, but look. Wow. I wanna say this is about two inches in diameter. And it is a size Seven and a quarter gold tone. I don't think I can pull this off. I, I like statement rings, but only one um, in each hand. I don't like to wear too many. Like some people can wear multiple rings, like in every finger. I, I'm not really, I don't like that look personally. And usually for me, it's one statement ring that's silver or gold. Um, not too much fashion rings. They tend to be a little bit heavier. That's interesting. I don't know how to describe these. They remind me of something from like that painter, um, John Miro, he paints with shapes. So we're gonna ignore labels because this one says pink and, okay, this one is pink. And I think this might be silver. No, it's not. It just says Avon. Um, these are pink. You can't really see the color, but they're pink and um, they need some cleaning. And it has a matching tangled up here. Um, let's see if I can untangle it. With an extender, it got caught over here in the box. The, the lobster cast did. I saw the ring that would go perfectly with this. The, that was silver though. So we have the the set here this box is dirty inside I think it has to do with the piece hopefully not well it seems to be clean this is the color um, this is clear that's clear it's just that it's very dirty and looks kind of like a turquoise color I don't see anything missing and this is there's a tag here S or HS or SH. Okay, 
Okay. And let's do a few more. Let's see. This one says baby blue. It is baby blue. Okay, there's a that's the neighbor's dog. That's not um that's not our dog. I don't know if you could if you could hear it in the background. I just can't control when a fire engine passes by or a ambulance or a, a police car. This one also this one says N A N R. I don't remember where these came from. Also, I think this can be removed. Yeah, there's a, a little cluster. If you don't want it to be a white necklace, if you just want it to end there, you could. And it comes with the set. I wonder if you can. Yeah, you can even remove these. If you remove the butterfly, this will slide right out. See? And then you can, and they're also labeled. Just wear like a like a stud. Very versatile. I like jewelry like that. Reversible rings or earrings. That's, that's cool. Okay, so this one. There are these tiny little hoops. I don't know, these are any precious metal? I don't think so. And then another set of hoops. They kind of do the loop-de-loop -loop over here. Hammered. Kind of like a bronze. This one says lavender. So this is the same as the blue one that I just showed. It looks to be like um, it's the exact same necklace. Um, yeah, it is also the same homework. And this is in pink and lilac. I like this one. I like both. But I think this one I like a little more because of the color. And this one's also removable. Do you guys know anything about um, these pieces here? Please um, help me out and put it in the comment section. Nothing is missing. Pink and lilac. And I'll show two more and end it. So this, these are some beads here. No maker's mark. Uh, these are not my, not my favorite. Hopefully these are better. They come in this little box with the sleeve. These look like they belong to the, to the, this one. Can they be? And I got the wrong box. Oh. What do you guys think? I mean... You can probably, one is like a silver tone, one is gold tone, but it doesn't matter with the bracelet. So I'm just going to leave these together and put something else in here. And this will be the last one, a pair of earrings in a very light pale pink with full pearls and rhinestones. And this one, doesn't have any maker's mark but they're in excellent condition so that will conclude this video 
um, please let me know which one or ones were your favorite and I will see you in my next one.